You're going to want to really come close to your TV for this one. How about some mouth-watering cookies? Take a look. Do we have your attention? <laughs> you got mine. <laughs> uh, do we really need to mention cookies again? A local college student has successfully turned a hobby and side hustle of baking cookies into a mini empire. News Five's Mike Holden joins us live with more on how one woman's passion for sweet treats really changed her life forever. And Mike, these look really good. Mike, Danita, they're insane. I mean, I had them in person, delicious, delectable, decadent. I'm losing my words thinking about it. I was scrolling through Instagram. That's how I found this story in the first place. I wanna eat my phone right now. This is not normal. But this morning we are introducing you to the girl behind this entire project. She poured her heart and soul into it and she's proving you can do it even at age 27. You can't help but want to get to know this cookie when you see it. The cookie, or cookies in this case, draw you right in and make you stop in your tracks to stare at the colors, designs, and flavors. I just love apple pie. I can't lie. It was Crystal Looney's mindset from the jump. Looney like Looney Tunes. But there's nothing crazy happening here. No. <laughs> <laughs> but the cookies are a little wild. Crystal started online cookie shop, the dessert aisle, out of her home during peak COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. There we go. All while attending Cleveland State and balancing her day job as a customer service manager for a utility company. I decided that I really wanted to take my love of food and my love of art and just put it together. <laughs> Armed with a mixer and some gnarly ingredients, she set out to find joy. The cookie baking became therapeutic as she posted the eye-catching videos to her dessert aisle Instagram and started taking orders entirely online and through Uber Eats. The epiphany moment, though, came Black Friday of 2021 with the special rum eggnog stuffed frosted cookie. I put up about maybe 12 dozen in my inventory. The 12 dozen sold out within 15 minutes. By the end of that day, she sold 65 dozen of that flavor plus other flavors. She quit her utility job shortly after and never looked back. Fast forward to April of 2022. I decided, you know what, I want to do this full time. This is truly my passion. It's a passion that began as a child when she says she used to read her mom's recipe books. She credits her mother for inspiring her to see her true talents and believe in a dream. A year ago, I would have never thought that a cookie would change my life. I think, yeah, I guess that's what I want to say. And here we are. I'm not here. I'm actually tearing up. As Crystal celebrated this new chapter, we had to get to the bottom of the cookie. For storytelling purposes, naturally. I'm drooling watching you cut into that. And well. The moment of truth. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mm. I need to like sit back for this. <laughs> Guys, I actually needed a chair after that. The cookies are out of this world. Crystal at age 27 is a full-time entrepreneur ditching the other career dedicated to changing lives through food. She said it's therapeutic. You can order online. Links on news5cleveland.com. And if you're going to ask how many calories are in the cookie, Crystal's motto is you don't even deserve to eat one. Yeah, you right? gotta ask Simple that. as that. <laughs> I, I think she changed you, Mike. I think this the eating that cookie did something to you. Tell, tell us about man. that. Yeah, change man. I mean, you wanted to eat knocked, your phone. Knock the couple screws loose. <laughs> I, I know. This is what's happening this morning, guys. This is not normal. Oh, my Funny goodness. story. You take a sick day after that. Mike, when you brought those cookies into the newsroom, they were sitting out here for everybody. Uh, uh, Trent one morning was literally eating the crumbs out of the box because just the crumbs remained. And he was talking about how good they were. They were gone in five minutes, guys. Like, we couldn't even have one for ourselves. So that's why I didn't have one. Yeah, this is see, why we missed why. out. Thank you, Mike. Great story. Oh, great, so great good. story.